Hi, my name is Mark Johnston and I do STEM education. Today we're going to start something that I think is going to be very popular on my channel. As you know, I do a lot of VEX VR, uh, vr.vex.com uh, videos and tutorials. And uh, many times the question is, how do we take that virtual world and import it into the real world? Well, uh, I got some new tech here that I would love to show you. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into it. The first place I want to take you is codego.vex.com. So just like vr.vex.com, this is done on any browser um, with the exception of a smartphone. So you can use a tablet, you can use a, a Chromebook, a PC, a Mac, it doesn't matter. And you're going to want to use a device that does have Bluetooth, which most of those devices all now have Bluetooth built in. Now, You'll notice if you're familiar with VR, there's no playground button here. And we have a drive tab and there's a few other little things. The first place that I wanna direct you to is this builds button up here, just to the right of tutorials. If I click builds, it's going to open another tab in my browser with all of the different builds that can be done with a, a basic VEX Go kit. And so what I'm gonna do is scroll down and look for the code base. Now the code base, you always select this first one uh, for the build instructions. And then if you wanted to have a bumper or a, uh, an, an eye facing down or an eye facing forward or the electromagnet in an eye, those are supplemental. So those will start with this first build and then they'll just add on that thing that you want to add on to it. Uh, so I can click build instructions and that'll take me to a PDF uh, with step-by-step -step instructions. I can also click on code base STEM labs and that'll show me the different um, activities that are available for this specific build. Let's go ahead and go to the build instructions. And you'll notice it does open a PDF, so I could save that, I could print it, lots of things I could do with that. And it's great for your pre-readers, especially um, because it doesn't have any reading required. Um, that's also nice if you have like uh, English language learners, you know, they don't have to be able to read English in order to uh, put this together. All right. Let's go ahead and cut to a montage of me putting together uh, this robot. All right, now that we have our robot built, we can go back to codego.vex.com and I'm gonna click on the devices button up here in the upper right and then click add device. Now I can set up a custom robot. Uh, there's also the supercar and the uh, robot arm, but I'm gonna use the code base since that's what I did. Now you'll notice that it has the port number showing you know, port one and an LED bumper. The LED bumper isn't part of the base configuration for uh, the code base, but it is uh, something that you can add and so it just configures it for you. Take a look over here on the left hand side. Notice there's no drive block. Uh, there's nothing like that. Once I click done, you're going to see under looks, you'll see stuff for the LED bumper. Uh, you'll see a whole drivetrain 
uh, category pop up, an electromagnet category pop up. So I'll click done. Watch. Boom. Now I have drivetrain commands. I have magnet commands. I have stuff in here that I didn't have before because it's part of the code base. Okay, now that I have that configured, let's go ahead and connect to our robot. Notice up here where it says brain. If I click the little drop down, and right now it's saying no brain connected. But I have my robot turned on. I pushed the button on the top of the brain and it's blinking green. I'll click connect. It's gonna say scanning and there it found it. And I'm using Google Chrome. This should work the similarly uh, in any other browser, but I would recommend Chrome. Then click pair. It'll say connecting, it'll check the firmware, it'll do everything, and then there you go, we are connected. All right, now I'll go ahead and just put a simple program, say drive forward for 100 millimeters, and then I'll click start. And there my robot drove 100 millimeters. All right, let me go ahead and have it turn around. So I'll say turn right for 180 degrees, and then I'll have it drive 100 millimeters. I'll click stop and then start again. And there we go. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that quick look at Vex Go. Uh, I, if you notice, I've already added the little eye sensor there at the bottom for the next video. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell. You're notified of that. If you'd like to become a member, I would greatly appreciate it. You can click that join button. But thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.